Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, it is with great gratitude to Father or Mother God for allowing me to be here with you at this moment. What do you see around you? A lot of things. You can often choose what you see, just as you can choose how you see. Everything you control is your brain. As many of you like to say, look at a glass half full. Some will look at this glass and say, the glass is almost empty, others will say, something consumed half of that water. So they are two different ways of seeing the same thing. One only managed to understand that the glass was empty, almost empty, no matter what emptied it. The other preferred to think about what caused the glass to empty. And so are their minds. Each of you sees the same situation in different ways. You are not machines following the same programming. Each of you follows your soul's path. Often you follow what was planned by your soul, other times you follow small shortcuts created by your human minds. And each point on this walk is seen differently. On the same road, you see many trees along the way. Some think, the planet is in balance. Its surface is well cared for at that point, because there are many trees there balancing the soil, the air, the water. Others would see, how much money can they make by cutting down those trees. Notice that the image is the same, trees on a road and two different thoughts. And there will still be a third party who will only see a shelter from the intense heat and n other forms of thought will appear from a single image. So each mind, each heart, each walk, are unique, they are not repeated among you. So how do you make something that everyone wants happen? Everyone needs to have the same mindset. It's the same thing, if each of you had a glass of water, full of water, and each one looks at that glass full of water and thinks of something to do with that water. Some think about drinking it, others think about splashing it on their face to cool off. Others think about simply throwing it on the ground so that it returns to Gaia, and others think about throwing that water in a large box so that others repeat the same gesture and can give to drink for animals, for those who need water. So where was the water best used? In that tank where everyone put their share of water. But there will always be those who think, but there's so little water, it's just a glass, it won't make a difference in that big tank. And then I ask you, if everyone thought this way, would that tank ever fill up? No, it wouldn't fill. But there was one who didn't care what others thought, he went there and spilled his glass. And by chance someone else saw that gesture and repeated it, and the gesture was repeated and that tank was filled. So understand this, you always start something, there will always be a human who will start a process. The process does not fall from the sky, it is not given by us to anyone. You start anything, but if each one of you who starts it thinks, what's the point, I'm just one, effectively nothing will happen. But if you think, I'm doing my part and I'm sure somewhere else will do exactly the same. That gesture you made of starting something reverberates across the planet and will always find a receptive heart, where you will find the connection and that other will repeat your gesture without even understanding why, but they will want to do it too. And this connection is expanding. The great ideas that have ever happened on your planet were born from a single human who invented, who thought, who researched, who worked, it doesn't matter. Did it take a long time for him to prove that what he thought, invented, worked? Yes, it took a while, but at some point he gave up because he believed in what he was doing. And great evolutions in his race were made in this way, someone inventing something. So why is it so difficult to think that you are not capable of anything, why? Why didn't you invent something great that made you famous? Then I will answer that you are letting the ego invade your mind. When you do something for yourself or for someone or for the planet, but without thinking about being famous, but it actually works, the universe itself reverberates the idea. And as I explained a moment ago, 
it makes hearts that are in the same tune, connect with the idea and start repeating it. This is called expansion of mass consciousness. This is very well explained by experiments carried out on your planet. So never think, I won't start anything because it won't lead to anything. Well, if you've ever thought like that, you've just decreed that you haven't created anything, because you've already stated that it won't come to anything. Now, if you do it and believe that it is good for you and that in some way it could be good for the whole, trust and it will reverberate. So at this moment it is more than urgent that all minds on this planet are focused on their own evolution, are focused on humanity's journey towards equality, on humanity's journey towards balance, and love being present at all times and at all points. Stop focusing on the problems, stop focusing on what degrades the planet. Every thought, every word said about a subject is transformed into energy that will feed the egregore of the same connection. So don't think, don't focus, forget, what you call problems, focus on what is important, focus on love, focus on love for others, focus on your own lives. Forget about other people's lives. You have been manipulated to the point that you can no longer live without observing, commenting, envying, speaking badly about other people's lives, forgetting your own. So the more you feed gossip, the waste of energy spent talking about others, you feed the same energy against yourself. Be sure that someone will be talking bad about you, be sure that the same energy is being thrown against you. And what do you do with it? You get paid that's all. Oh, I don't get paid. Oh, yes you do. In what way? In various ways. You receive it in the form of small problems, small annoyances that you don't even know where it came from, small wear and tear, small arguments, it comes back to you. Now, if you don't emanate anything against anyone, that's a good step, because there won't be anything that comes back against you. Do you understand what you yourself create? So if you are focused on your own journeys, on your own obstacles, on eliminating your own shadows, you don't have time to send energy to anyone, in this case, bad energy, because you are concerned, and I would say correctly, with correcting your own mistakes, correcting your own path. The other person's journey concerns only him. You reached the height of locking people inside a house, to practically fight each other and everyone watching. How far does curiosity and the human mind reach? What do you learn there? How difficult is it to live in society? And all in the name of a great game. So nothing there is true. Indeed, humanity has already reached the limit of its own mental destruction, and worse, the vast majority are watching this happen. The vast majority takes sides, judges, condemns, criticizes, everything we ask you not to do. Do you understand what your planet is like? Do you understand which egregores are generated all the time? So if each of you thinks it's not worth doing anything, because the whole is already lost, then I will tell you, truly the all will be lost. Now if everyone focuses on themselves and does their part in their favor, and in favor of the planet, this reverberates, this spreads and this expands too. And little by little, you fill that tank. It doesn't matter how long it takes, what matters is that everyone who passes by with a glass full of water throws water in there. It's practically becoming automatic, go ahead with a full glass, throw it in. It is the same thing that you, every moment, emanate light emanate love and increasingly increase this great egregore of positive energy, which is around the planet. What do you choose, fill this great egregore, so that it becomes increasingly immense and positive and begins to strangle the negative egregores, or do you want to feed more and more of the planet's negative egregores? It's your choice. You wake up every day with your glass full of light, which I will translate as a glass full of water. What do you do with it? Do you throw it in that tank that corresponds to the egregore of light or do you throw away the water thinking it's not worth doing anything? Which side are you on? So I ask everyone to think, 
which side do you place yourself on? And certainly, those who respond, who pour water into the tank, will increasingly attract more people, who will make the same gesture and that egregore will grow. We are not discouraged, we continue our journey also in relation to this planet. Nothing stands still. And we can tell you that very soon, a lot will happen. I can even say that a lot is already happening. But positive news and developments are not publicized. For what? So that everyone loses focus on the big negative news? It is obvious that everything that is of the light is not expanded, is not spread. That's why we are expanding across the planet, that's why this mission on this channel is to spread the messages, our messages to many who didn't have access due to the difference in language. So now they will, they will no longer have an excuse for not listening to what we say. So do your part, make your choice. Which egregore do you want to feed, the egregore of light, love, or do you want to maintain that egregore of the third dimension, which contains all types of violence, negative feelings, everything that destroys your world and your minds? What's your choice?